Welcome back to Los Angeles for more fantasy warfare. It's title versus title time. Classic Intercontinental Championship about to be defended. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the Intercontinental and the WWE Championship. Introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 232 pounds. He is the Intercontinental Champion. MJF, the Intercontinental Champion here in Fantasy Warfare. Winning the championship in a recent episode and now defending it here against Stone Cold Steve Austin, a man who has successfully defended his Big Eagle Championship already with a victory over Brock Lesnar recently. Can Steve Austin make it another successful title defense against MJF? Well, we're gonna find out in just a moment. Here and he comes. the champion from Victoria, Texas. Weighing in at 252 pounds. Stone Cold Steve Austin! Stone Cold Steve Austin, the holder of the Big Eagle WWE Championship. You know it is the one that was bestowed upon him after his championship victory at WrestleMania 14 and a slightly altered status, but essentially the same title. Don't say that to belt lovers though, they'll come for me, they'll come for me hard. But uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin has held this championship now for a, a number of weeks here in Fantasy Warfare. And like we said, a successful title defense against Brock Lesnar recently. Looking to make it two for two, but if he can, he will also walk away with the Intercontinental Championship as it is title for title per the rules of Fantasy Warfare. Anytime you're in action, if you're a champion, you're defending. And it just so happens that we get us a title versus title contest. Referee rings the bell and we are officially underway here in our semi-main event of the week of Fantasy Warfare. Our pre-Christmas edition. Whose Christmas will be lovely and whose Christmas will not be lovely. We find out soon as this match is immediately off to a fast start with MJF looking to get that advantage on Stone Cold Steve Austin, but Austin not looking to let him get too far as he is now hammered away on the face of MJF. Steve Austin no stranger to holding two championships. At one time was the Intercontinental and Tag Team Champion at the exact same time. Oh, nice flying elbow drop like covering the entire freaking ring. MJF missing that fist drop though, as Austin gets caught with a German suplex. You never want to see somebody like Steve Austin landing on the back of their head after all the documented neck troubles. But Austin does not seem to be too affected by that one as he got back up to his feet with a dragon screw, tried for a forearm drop, but MJF had moved out of the way. Nice DDT by MJF. MJF would love nothing more than to walk out of here with two championships, adding that to his Fantasy Warfare resume. He had the arm bar on Steve Austin, a move that many people have tapped out to, but that was not going to be the case in that one as Austin was able to get his foot under the bottom rope. Oh, nice elbow to the jaw and the throat area of Steve Austin. MJF misses that one. Austin went behind with some kicks to the thigh. Jawbreaker by Steve Austin driving the top of his skull into the chin. Oh, Luthez press, beautiful. Beautiful Luthez press by Steve Austin on MJF down into the cover. Referee there, great position by the referee to check those shoulders. And MJF kicks out of the count of two. MJF brought up to his feet, stutter by Austin. Austin hits the Stone Cold Stunner. 
This could be all. He's trying to drag him to good position for the pin. Here he goes into the cover. Referee is there checking those shoulders. And MJF kicks out of the count of two. Austin now stomping the mud hole and walking it dry. Driving his knuckles right into the nose of MJF. Austin with a choke, wrapping those legs in the arm, a, a modified triangle. I'm not too familiar with the MMA holds of the world, but it almost looks like a triangle choke in reverse. But MJF able to get himself out of it, but Austin quickly counters with an elbow to the midsection. MJF and a DDT. Drop Stone Cold Steve Austin to the mat. Stomping on the hand of Steve Austin. I mean, if, if anything, that'll that'll hurt his ability to throw punches and flip the middle finger. MJF raking the eyes, and a low blow! Right in front of the referee. Referee choosing to use some discretion on that one, but MJF's gonna steal this one. No, he's not. Thought MJF was gonna steal this one from Stone Cold Steve Austin, but he didn't get away with it on that one as Austin kicks out. MJF's got the arm bar in though. MJF made Roddy Piper tap out with this one to win the title. Could he make Austin tap out with this one to win another title? No, he won't. Austin's able to break free. Bulldog takes down MJF. Lifts MJF to his feet. Nice power slam by Stone Cold. Picking him up, locking him up. Irish Whip sends him into the corner. I'm not positive. Not, we haven't gotten a good shot of it yet, but it looks like MJF could be bleeding after some of those shots by Stone Cold Steve Austin. And MJF once again able to kick out at the count of two, narrowly escaping defeat and hanging on to his Intercontinental Championship, but Steve Austin stalking. He's waiting, boot and stunner! Another Stone Cold stunner. This is gotta be all for MJF. And it is! MJF doesn't even make it through one defense with the Intercontinental Championship, and Stone Cold Steve Austin is now a double champion here in Fantasy Warfare. What a matchup it was between these two. MJF looked like he was gonna steal it there for a minute, but Steve Austin was having no part of it. And now, Stone Cold Steve Austin is not only the Big Eagle WWE Champion, he is also the classic WWE Intercontinental Champion. But we still have one more match to go this week here in Fantasy Warfare, and it is our main event of the week. It's gonna be Bobby Lashley and Farouk coming up next.